Hi, my name is Krista St. Pierre and I'm a Senior Program Manager on the Windows Fundamentals team. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a USB flash drive using your Windows 8 download and I'll also show you how you can go through an automated installation using an unattend answer file. Here's my laptop, it's running Windows 7 and I just finished downloading Windows 8. I have a shortcut on my desktop to install Windows. I'm going to double click and we're going to launch Web Setup. From here, you'll see that I have three options in which to choose how I want to install. Install Now, which will upgrade my current version of Windows 7 to Windows 8. I can choose to install on another partition, which helps me to create bootable media. Or I can choose to install later. For my demo now, I'm going to show how we can install on another partition using bootable media. So I'm going to click Next. And here you'll see I have to choose between using a USB flash drive or I could create an ISO file and burn it to a DVD. For this scenario, I'm going to use a USB flash drive and plug in my USB flash drive. Um, one thing that's important to keep in mind is that it needs to be at least 3 gigabytes in size or larger. The other thing, when I click Next, you'll see it's going to automatically find that removable device, my USB flash drive, and it's going to give me a warning because we want to call out here that anything that you have on your USB flash drive will be lost. So we are going to format as part of this installation process. So it's important that you back up any data that you have on that flash drive if you want to save it. I know I have this 4 gig USB drive and it's specifically for creating an install point of Windows 8. So I'm going to say yes, I want to continue. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to first format the drive, the USB drive. The next part, we're going to mark it as bootable. And then we're going to copy over all the installation files. This process takes several minutes to complete, but once it's finished, you'll have a bootable USB flash drive ready to go and install Windows 8. OK, the flash drive is complete. And you'll see that there's a product key displayed here. What I'm going to do is actually copy this product key and I'm going to use an unattend answer file and copy that product key right here in my file. This way, when I go to install from the USB key, I won't actually have to remember that product key. So I'm going to save this file and I'm going to finish here because I'm all done because the next step that I want to do is actually boot from the USB to complete my installation. But before I do that, I'm going to copy this answer file to my, the root of my USB drive. So here we go. Here is the USB drive that I just created. And here is the unattend answer file that I just saved my product key to. And I'm going to copy this to the root of the USB. So now, when I go to reboot my machine, right here. I'm going to restart. So when my PC boots up, I'm going to interrupt the process in order to select the USB drive. And in this case, I'm going to choose USB. It's important to call out that not all PCs support booting from USB, and you may have to configure your BIOS to enable this scenario. But once your PC is properly configured, your flash drive is all set and ready to boot. We've done all that work for you after you finished your download. And you'll see here that now setup is automatically launching and the installation has begun. You'll notice that I didn't have to enter a product key. I didn't have to select which drive to install to. I've automated all of that using my unattend answer file and it kicks off the installation for me. And now you're in Windows 8 and you can personalize the PC the way you want it. Thanks so much for watching. We can't wait for you to give it a try.